Hey, Will and Welder coming back at you today. So we're going to um, demonstrate how to set up oxyfuel acetylene uh, uh, torches and uh, how to properly set those gauges. Got Kayla behind the cameraman today. All right, first thing I want to show you um, here at school, we use uh, large industrial bottles and uh, we have a, our acetylene regulator, our fuel, fuel gas, and then we have our oxygen regulator also. Um, a lot of students uh, have a hard time getting these mixed up, but as you can tell, they have different fittings. There's no possible way that you can put an oxygen regulator on an acetylene or an acetylene regulator on an oxygen bottle. They're just not made like that. Now, if we look close from here at this acetylene bottle, at this, you can see here, you see these notches in this, this stunt. That lets us know that this is a left-handed thread. Not righty-tighty, it's lefty-tighty, okay? Usually the um, main pressure gauge only goes up to 400. Working pressure is no more than 15 PSI. If it, acetylene doesn't like anything over 15 P PSI, which causes it can, it can get unstable, which means it could possibly self-ignite and explode. So anything above 15 is a no-no. Do not do it. You better be making adjustments quick. Normally we keep it in the five to eight range, somewhere around in there, even lower for a welding gases. Notice over here on this side too, we also have the little V-notch around the these nuts, okay? And there's a few down here. There's no way that you can put this on anything else but a fuel gauge uh, regulator or fuel gauge hoses. All right, and this is, that you may know, this is a uh, flash arrestor. We always, um, I know OSHA says anything on the job site, you gotta have one of these flash arrestors before it goes into the regulator. Uh, a lot of them are built in nowadays inside of the torch so you don't have to worry about that. And a little tip that I like to do here is, is um, righty tighty lefty loosey. There we go. And I like to wiggle a little bit. Just gotta wiggle it. I like to go as far in as I can, of course, right? Far in as you can with just your, just your, um, your hand before you put the tools on it, okay? And then notice here we have the different style fitting for the oxygen regulator, okay? And looking up here, we've already blew out this, uh, this orifice. Everything's good to go. If there's something in there, you just crack it open real quick. And I like to do this too. By, I like putting my hand around it and just wiggling a little bit. Just wiggling until it gets all the way in there. Um, a lot of guys use their gloves when they put these on. Um, if you've got any kind of oil or grease contamination on your gloves and you were to crack this valve open and it contacted it, it could cause a chemical explosion. Need no fire, no sources of ignition, anything. And uh, you can check it out on YouTube, uh, stuff like that. There's actually uh, uh, circumstances, instances where guys have blown their hands off and stuff and caught their, uh, blew the gauge up, caught their face on fire because of an oxygen leak here at the regulator when they had their gloves on. All right, so when we go to tighten this up, righty tighty on the uh, oxygen just give it a good down a lot of places don't want these gauges up at you they um if this gauge was to go bad and you turn this this oxygen on it could actually blow the gauges up and explode to your face so what a lot of companies will have you do is clamp it down tight so if that was happen, it would blow upwards all right i don't think that's a really a big issue here at uh, uh, the school so we're just going to leave it down a little bit so we can read these things and just put a little snug on it. You don't have to be gorilla type, okay? And the opposite for our our settling. Remember, we want to. I want to give it a little bit. Okay, good. So that's tightened up. That's ready to go here. Now come on in here, Caleb. Let's look a little closer on this acetylene. This is an acetylene. Um, this is a safety uh, fuse plug up here. There's two of them in the top, and they're in the bottom also. And if you remember, we talked about those in class where they melt at 220 degrees. So if this acetylene bottle was to catch on fire, uh, this fuse would melt. Inside of there would be a large hole. The acetylene gas would spew out of here and you would have a large inferno fire. It is designed like that to prevent this from exploding. You will not put this out if it catches on fire. If these fuse plugs melt and it ignites, you will not put this fire out, it's gonna to have to burn itself out, okay? And just remove everything around it, try to get the oxygen bottle away from it, and we'll go from there. You are the first line of defense when it comes to a fire, as a torturer or as a welder. Uh, you have long style gutlets on, uh, gloves, leather gloves, if there's a fire here, here, or here, or anywhere around here, your job is to reach in the fire and tur the, turn the acetylene off instantly. 
All right, so that's that's pretty much um, set up. Tear down is the opposite. You just take the gauges off and uh, store it for, for uses and put your safety caps back on. We do that on uh, Fridays or any uh, period of time where we're not gonna be using, using the acetylene torch. Um, if you're out on uh, the roads, you can have a DOT safety approved cap. They're yellow and you'll be able to keep these regulators on all the time. Uh, if not, it's my suggestion that you take them off. At, at the house or at the home shop or wherever you're at, I always leave my gauges on just because the pain of taking them on and off. I have several sets of uh, torches, so it, it, you know, I got one on the truck, I got one on the trailer, I got one at the house, so I don't need to be changing bottles or anything, and they're, they're pretty uh, fast and down. Here at the school, we're gonna leave these on Monday through Thursday. Okay, we'll change back out Thursday because we're gonna be using these torches every day, several times a day.